Hello, hello everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's another another hot episode. We got the one and only in the house, Chef Carter. Go on, give it up Thank to her now. Everyone. I do apologize for my lighting. I had my light went off on me. So we just gonna have to do it this way. I mean, you can still see I'm here. You can still see I'm talking. It's just the lighting is gonna look weird, but you should be able to hear this great, which matters the most. All right, so today we're going to talk about the Mandela. Mandela. The Mandela effect. Yeah, so I've been telling my cousin, I call him Billy, but you guys call him Will. You don't want me to say that? Come on, but, come on, let's go. But the one is let's his go. childhood name. But anyway, so y'all <laughs> can't call him that, only me. So yeah. anyway, so we're uh, talking about this. And so the Mandela effect is this phenomenon. I started hearing about it back in 2014 or so, but I noticed weird things before that like um, sex in the city is now sex and the city. And it, I don't know, it just, it was never that way before, you right. know, until 2012. That's when I noticed that, but I didn't know about the Mandela effect. So when did you hear about the Mandela effect? I heard about it shortly after you did. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. it's just, it's like, um, like the sex in the city. And then there's another, uh, what is it? Um, damn, I should remember this. Uh, give me some examples. Okay. Well, instead of doing examples, I have a quiz for us to take. And you should be able to see it on your screen. Okay. okay. So I'm going to, I'm kind of new to this recording and all. So I'm going to share my screen. And you see it? Yep. All right. So let's get to the tip top. I see there's a little bit of a delay. Uh, looks good to me. All right. So it says, if you get less than 10 out of 5 on this Mandela effect quiz, you're probably in a reality. It's 10 out of 15. Oh, what did I say? 5. Oh. <laughs> okay, so 10 out of 5. 10 out of 15. All right. So here's the first one. What color are Uncle Sam's hat? That's red and white. Okay. It's wrong. It's blue and white. <laughs> okay. Well, I've always thought I've, I've always seen it and thought of it as red and white. Yeah. In my mind, I remember it being blue and white like that, but having stripes going from yeah. the top to the bottom. Okay. Red and white stripes. So that's not what I remember. That's weird. All right. So the next one, ooh, what is the name of this candy? Kit Kat. Okay. Which spelling? Uh, that'd be the, the first one without the hyphen in the middle. Okay. You are correct. Tom I personally Kit? don't remember because I don't really eat Kit Kats. What does the fruit of the Loom logo look like? Oh, that's the first one. Absolutely the first one. Okay. It says you're wrong. It's just a uh, fruit or no cornucopia. Wow. What does the Targo logo look like? The Target logo is, oh, that'd be the second one. This one? Yep. Correct. Yeah, that's a classic no-brainer. In the movie, I'm sorry, in the Saw movies, what does Jigsaw say? Mm. 
Would you like to play a game? I want to play a game. Did you want to play a game? That'd be the first one. Okay. I remember the second one, but we're doing yours. Wrong. He, he nah. says, I want to play a game. But it's like, I, I kind of remember it being a question, do you want to play a game? I've never seen the movies, but I remember the trailers. And it seemed like that's what he asked in the trailers. But yeah. it doesn't there, make sense to say that to me. There's something very similar. There's very something similar to that. Uh, do you remember a 1980 movie called War Games? Uh-huh. His computer asked him, he said, would you like to play a game? So it's kind of the same, almost the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What? Yep. What does Tony the Tiger's nose look like? Um, all black or blue oh, yeah. and black? No, no, it's it's all black. Okay. Wrong. No, it's bullshit. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember it being blue and black. What's Henry V holding in this famous poetry? A 40 ounce bottle of malt liquor, old English. <laughs> no. Is um, it a glove or a turkey leg? I don't think it's a turkey leg, so let's go with the first one. Yeah, I remember a, a turkey leg, but you're saying a glove? What? Okay. Let's see what it is. A glove? You are correct. He's holding a glove. All right. Does Rich Uncle Pennybags wear a monocle? No. Okay, you are correct. <sighs> How do you spell the name of this meat production company? Oscar Meyer. Which way to spell it? My Baloney has a first name, it's O-S-C-A-R. My Baloney has a second name, M-E-M-A-Y-E-R, oh boy. The first one. M-E? M -E? Yeah. But you wait. said M-A. Wait a minute now. M-E-M-A-Y-E-R. Oh, I like to eat it every day. And if you ask me what I'll say, let's go with number, number one. M-E? Yep. Okay. Wrong. Oh, but you did on. spell it M-A when you sang that song. I, I sang both of them. Yeah. Okay. What does Pikachu's tail look like? Oh, I don't know nothing about no Pikachu. So just pictures from what I've seen, and I'm gonna go with the second one. He doesn't this have one? black on, he doesn't have black on his tail that I know of. Yeah, I remember him this way, but we're gonna do your answers for this one. And so you are correct, but I remember <laughs> him having black and I used to watch Pikachu a lot. I back never in did. The day. All right, how do you spell the name of the company that sells the shoe? Skechers. Which way is it spelled? Uh, S K, the second one. Okay. Yeah, I never paid attention, but that would be my guess too. And it says it's wrong. So we're both stupid? Well, we're both saying the T. Get Sure. Okay, well, I guess so. Okay. How do you spell this Kellogg serial name? Fruit Loops. Aha. Uh -huh. F R O O T L O O P S. Mm hmm. I remember it being Fruit Loops spelled correctly. And then one day, about two, it was around 2012, 2013, I remember going through the cereal aisle at Walmart and seeing a big display of Fruit Loops spelled O-R-O-O-T. And I thought, oh, they must have changed this. Because as huh. a child, I remember it being spelled F-R-U-I-T. Oh, no. So you're saying Fruit Loops. I know this one is correct, though. Yeah. Unless it changed again. <laughs> yeah. It was never spelled F-R-U-I-T. Okay, fill in the blank. The bear blank bears. How do you spell it? Bernstein bear. The bear bear <laughs> bears Bernstein. 
With the E or an A? With the E. Okay. Wrong. It's spelled with an A. Come on, really? <laughs> okay. Okay. What oh. is the name of this Warner Brothers animated series? Looney Tunes. Spelled which way? L O O N E Y T O O N S. Okay, so tunes. Wrong. Yeah. Bullshit. Really? Mm hmm. Damn. <laughs> All right. What is the name? And we both know what it is now, but what did you think it was before this quiz for our conversation? Sex in the city. Yeah. It says wrong. Wow. You scored better than 34% of all other quizzers or quiz takers. So you got six out of 15. So yeah, you're living in an alternate universe. It's the only universe I know. All right, let me uh, turn off the... That means folks that I'm suffering from the Mandela effect. Yeah, me too. At least we're in the same reality together. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh so, boy. So yeah, you know, and there are some personal effects too. Like for example, uh, my brother and I work at a restaurant together. And this restaurant, depending on what part of the country you were from, and sometimes even in the same city, the restaurant would normally go by two different names. And one was Bonanza and the other one was Ponderosa. So here in Richmond, we had a Bonanza downtown yeah. and then we had a Ponderosa way on the north side and a Ponderosa way on the east side, but Bonanza was downtown. So my brother and I both worked at the Ponderosa on the north side. And one day we were having a conversation and he's like, uh-uh, I worked at Bonanza. And I'm like, are you sure? And, hmm. and he, he, to this day, he still says <coughs> he worked at Bonanza and he worked there longer than me. So yeah, he, he, he's, he worked there probably about five years. So I think he knows where he worked, but I know, I know that I know it was Ponderosa. Um, so that's one of the personal ones. And then my other brother, he, he says it's Bonanza, but my mom, she says it's Ponderosa. So I think that my brothers are from a different reality than my mom and I. So I don't know if this, like, this is really true or not, but you know, it, all things are possible. You never know, you know? So. Wow. What do you think? Uh-oh, my dog is gonna jump. <laughs> no, Rex, don't do it. Don't, we love you, Rex, don't jump, please. He, he jumped already. <laughs> Okay, so any other things you want to say about the Mandela effect? I wonder, like, I hope, you know, people watching, you guys should tell us what you think in the comments. You know, or do, do you, you guys have, yeah, or do you guys have any personal things like what Chef Carter said? Mm -hmm. If you guys are following us about the Mandela effect, somebody else might have something to say about it. Yeah. And yeah, that's what so we're, participate with us, guys. Interact with us. Mm -hmm. So um, that's about all I have. Like, maybe um, we'll watch, like, maybe I'll show you this one video I saw on YouTube where Ooh. this guy, he says he has this room. And in the room, nothing has changed. Like, he'll take that, that Berenstain, Berenstain book. And the E and A changes. If he's inside, I think it when he was inside, it changed to an A. When he was outside, it changed to an E. Like he's filming it and it actually changes. I don't know if he has like special effects going on or what, but it's like you want to do like every Mandela effect. 
you know, even yeah. with uh, Nelson Mandela, it seems like I remember him passing in the 80s because I remember his daughter came here to speak in the early 90s. And if I remember right, I think he, he died in 90, 94? No, no, no. In, no? in my reality, it seemed like he died in the 80s in prison. Oh. And then he, um, then his daughter spoke. And I remember saying, it's so sad that her dad passed away, you know? But then I remember him becoming president of South Africa back in, I think it was like the late nineties. And then he died somewhere in the 2000s. I, I don't know if it was like 2008, nine, 10. I don't remember. Um, so yeah, when, so you thought he died when? I thought he died in like 94, 95, but I guess not. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking it up. Um, he was president from 1994 to 1999, and he died in 2013. Okay, yeah. December okay. 5th, 2013. And I yeah. remember that. And I thought, oh, I thought he passed away. But, you know, and then there are some people, you know, here in Richmond who I remember them passing. Not a lot, just a couple, like older people. And mm -hmm. and I, I don't want to mention because, you know, it's too close. But there was a couple older people who I thought passed away. I remember like reading their obituary or my mom calling and said, guess who passed, you know? And then it's like, wait a minute, he's still around? <laughs> so, you know, good, he lived to be quite old, but huh, you know? So I don't know if you have any that are that strange or not. It's only like one or two for me, but. Huh, I yeah. don't think so. I'd have to sit and think for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know what else to add here. Do you? Um, just keep an eye on the channel and make sure you guys hit that notification bell, that one that goes bing. bing. <laughs> and don't forget to like and comment. Please, we need, we need you guys to... Uh, to let us know what you guys think too. Yep. We need some feedback. <laughs> so make some comments, you know. Yeah, make please sure comment, you guys. Help this channel grow because, you know, Will, he's a fun guy, you know. He's a nice guy. <laughs> help him out. Wow, right. compliments. Woohoo. Okay. Yeah, and don't <laughs> forget to check out Chef Carter. Oh, man. Chef Carter's Cooking Corner channel. Mm -hmm. All right. Good well, stuff coming up there. Thanksgiving's coming up. A lot of good cooking ideas. Mm -hmm. Yep. I have a video that will help you prepare without wearing yourself out. You know, it's basically an outline to start on Monday and then you finish on Thursday. Yep. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us, guys. Be on the lookout. More videos coming up soon. So peace, love, and happiness. All right.